Well, it looks like the storm's over. We've uh, had our second tornado warning in about a two week period. No tornadoes yet. And we've been on calf watch. We miss Daisy, supposed to be having a calf. And cows are notorious for having babies during the bad, bad weather. So Wanda and I is fixing to head out and we're fixing to see if Miss Daisy's had her calf during this bad weather. Well, we see Miss Daisy standing up right now, so she ain't had her calf yet. Maybe that's a good thing. She didn't have it while the, the bad weather was going on. So we'll check back later. Come on. I'm coming, Miss Daisy. Dolly, come on, Candy. Come on here, Candy. Come on. Look at our baby. She, she knows, knows where she belongs. She's growing. She's, she's so big. She's growing up to be a big old girl. She's half the size of the pregnant one. Look how wide she's getting. And even Dixie is getting pretty good size. They're good, huh? They're good. Come on, Miss Daisy. Come on over here, Miss Daisy. Okay, guys, y'all can see Miss Daisy here. She's getting ready to calve. Her bag is swelled up good. And uh, in the back end back here, she's done got all big and puffy and uh, swelled up and kind of jiggly looking and find that she will uh, calve within the next uh, Probably this week. I'm thinking Dexter's is a little different now. She's a heifer her second calf will be a little bit easier to tell but being she's a first-time heifer um, Sometimes they'll bag up way ahead of time, but we know she's probably within a week or so so that's usually our first indications whenever they start doing that. Now she was evidently bred when we got her because it ain't nowhere near time for her to have a calf. See how big she swelled up on the back end there? And she's really swelled up big. So and I like that. The bigger she's swelled up, uh, the easier that calf is to have. Now she's gonna give us some black gold here. gonna get you right here. You don't have to worry. I got you taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's a little girl. Um, you sure? Yeah. It's a little girl. Oh, wow. Shaking. Yeah. It's a good girl. So we have another girl. Yeah. It's a girl. So we need a name. Yeah. Okay guys, we come out this morning and uh, we've been waiting on Miss Daisy. Uh, the calf is not from our bull. Uh, we didn't realize that she was actually bred when we got her. Uh, so she's had her a baby calf. It's another female, which means that we have another cow in the herd. 
Uh, so we're excited about that and we're praying that the baby remains healthy. Uh, it's beautiful. She's, uh, she calved very well. You can see the calf is with her. Um, it's very, she done well, the calf done well. We found her this morning, no problems whatsoever. So we're excited. We're adding to the herd and got us another girl. Keep trying. Yeah, very good girl. Yeah, very good girl. Come on, you can get up and move around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, very good girl. Oh, ain't she still got colostrum in her? Red, ain't she? Yeah. She's really red. She's really red. <laughs> Okay guys, it's been a couple of hours now. We are uh, monitoring Daisy and the baby. Uh, the baby's nursing well. We kind of locked them up in the corral here away from the other cows so that uh, they would have a little privacy time. And it seems like it's worked. The baby's nursing well. Um, we've noticed the baby uh, is a little bit darker red than she is. Uh, we don't know anything about the daddy because we have no clue she was bred when we got her, didn't realize it. We thought we'd be breeding her to our bull, uh, which is a blessing uh, because we got her a lot earlier. I was able to actually walk up to her and actually able to squirt some colostrum out of one of her teeth. Uh, and she's never been a real gentle type cow for me to be able to just touch her teeth. And I found that that was kind of, uh, kind of amazing that I could do that. And she didn't try to get rough or anything like that. So we're going to probably leave her quarantined from the rest of the cows for a little bit longer till the baby gets where it can walk a little better and see if we can't let her get a little bit more used to maybe coming up in the barn. She's not used to coming into this side of the barn. This is where we had Dolly at when we had her in the milk and stanchion and I'm trying to put the lure her into it and put the feed in here so that she comes up in here and gets used to coming up in here and eating. Um, maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to get her to come in here. Her bag and her teats are a lot better than Dolly's are for milking. Uh, her teats are a lot longer, a lot bigger, a lot better. Her bag's a lot bigger. So we're hoping that uh, if I fool with her long enough, maybe I might be able to calm her down enough to get her in here and get her where she can um, maybe be milked. I don't know yet. Uh, it's all an experiment. We're just thankful. We got another baby girl on the homestead. We just got to come up with a name now. Okay, so since they're doing so well today, um, we put it over on Patreon, y'all know. 
and we got lots of requests on Patreon about names, and we got lots of suggestions and stuff like that. And uh, Wanda had thought about Lily because Daisy's an older name, and Lily is an older name, but it just didn't fit right. We had that name pop up on some uh, some posts, and we just wasn't happy with anything that we were coming up with at the time. So uh, Faith, a young lady. She came up with the name uh, Minnie, uh, which is an older name, M-I-N-N-I-E. It uh, goes with Daisy and Minnie. They both go together. Uh, her being a younger lady happened to think about cartoon characters and stuff like that. And we kind of like that because it's like a mini version of Daisy. So we've decided to keep the name Minnie for the calf. I think it's going to go over well. And... We're excited that both of them are are doing good. She's up eating. The baby's been nursing all day. Um, I'm happy that it's worked out as well as it has. And guys, we appreciate y'all coming along on this journey with us. And we pray that the next few days will be good. We can put her back into the herd. And they can all get used to one another once the baby's up where it can get away and move around freely. Uh, and travel around with the rest of the herd. And she's not got it stuck off somewhere off in the woods at night or something like that. So that's kind of what we're waiting on right now. So thank you for staying with us on this journey. And thank you for just being a part of what goes on here at Deep South Homestead. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.